What's up guys, it's Lil Chef Ian here, back again with episode 13 on the Lil Chef with Big Dream series. Um, I just wanted to talk about a few things before we even start this video out. I wanted to say that I'm sorry I haven't been uploading much. You know, I, as most of you know, I also have a job, the 9 to 5, I know, I know. I also have a 9 to job, ah, a 9 to job, a 9 to 5, just like most of you. Um, and it's been really, really, really busy at work because um, a lot of people and myself, including myself, are going on holiday break uh, starting next week all the way through January 1st. So that means that a lot of people are trying to finish their projects up really early. I've been getting a ton of responsibilities and a ton of tasks in my job, so I've been really focusing on that so that I can, you know, spend quality time with my family during break and I can start making more videos for you guys, um, you know, with these live cops. So some plans for the future, I really want to upload more, um, I have more live cops. I also haven't been botting that much, even though, you know, these live cops are going to be lit. But I haven't been botting as much as I want to, um, just because of work. But now that I'm back and I have some time um, on my hands, I'm going to be back botting, um, I'm going to be back making videos, and I'm going to be back reaching out to you guys in the community um, whenever you guys have questions. Uh, you can always DM me on Twitter, at Lil Chef Ian. So, you know, direct your questions to my Twitter. Um, I'm always open. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, episode 13, all about my monthly profits of November, which I know a lot of you always ask about. How much do you make? How much do you lose? How much do you spend on proxies? Stuff like that. Um, so, I'll go through that breakdown with you guys, all the numbers and everything. Um, I'm also going to be showing you the bread, lives, the Yeezy Breads live cop and the cross ugly mother bogo drop um those things are mad ugly but i have those two live cops for you guys and you guys can see my month my november uh profit numbers uh, so hopefully you'll find this video super helpful um give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it um i really appreciate it and let's go into it look for the month of november i mean what was the biggest thing come on everyone tell me yep yep those so in total i got 52 ps5 consoles delivered to my doorstep um and i really wanted to diversify selling these um because of financial reasons and what i mean by diversifying i meant that i wanted to um you know sell some for ebay on the high which i managed to actually sell a ton on ebay for the high um and then i wanted to sell locally with cash because you know cash is king Yep, cash is king. Everyone knows cash is king. Um, and then I also sold some through Zelle, you know, um, I mean through OfferUp so that they could Zelle me. But anyways, I didn't want to sell it all in one place for some reason. So for the numbers, I sold 14 consoles on eBay for $1,094 each after fees. Like, that that's just crazy margins. Like, $1,094 each after fees and shipping. That's just that's crazy. Locally, I sold the rest of the consoles for $900 cash. Now I know it's about almost a $200 difference, but honestly, I love cash. Like cash is king. I just I just love cash, man. It's, it's the best payment method out there. So in total for 52 consoles, I sold each for around $964 after fees, which is an insane amount of margin on profit. Like, it's literally just insane. The PS5s were the one of the biggest cooks of the year for me. And I hope it was one of the biggest cooks for, of the year for you as well. Honestly, like, that was just a... Like, last one was just a banger. Like, I, I had a good time. Um, and, you know, selling was pretty hard. But honestly, the profit was just so worth it. Um, and with that profit, I always reinvest. So, I bought Akari. Um, I bought E-Stock. And I bought KSR. So, you know, the top, you know... Top one KSR misc bot and the two you know misc bots out there as well the two underrated misc bots Akari and Eastock. Um, so I bought those as well just in a, as an investment and I if they ever come out to be you know good and useful miscellaneous bots which they actually are um, I'll go ahead and use them. It's funny how like 
the botting has shifted from like Pokemon cards and like football cards to PS5s um, rather than shoes, right? Like, I mean, the return on investment, like how how long does it take to get eighteen seventeen thousand dollars of profit in shoes like remember to always think about that like i got seventeen thousand dollars in one month from miscellaneous stuff like ps5s um so don't ever just go for shoes like always diversify like what you are reselling as well that's a really good tip that i can give you guys now on to the cross bogo drop like dude like this bogo looks like literal dog shit like holy crap my friends and i were having conversations whether or not this would be the first bogo to go for retail like just talking about that with my friends means a lot like that shows a lot about a bogo and how supreme has literally gone down like it's a falling falling knife at this point like supreme resale has been super shit but like honestly you know i knew it was still gonna sell so i i, I was going into this drop by the way, using mech and cyber, um, thinking that I should cop as much as I can. Was I really worried that it was gonna go to retail price? No, not really. I knew it was gonna resell, but I did have a good feeling that this would be one of the BOGOs that resold for you know the worst price. And honestly, it's probably the lowest price BOGO I've seen. Other than the the Takashi Murakami um, COVID relief BOGO, which was which is which makes no sense to me. Like how is that going for $350? Like that design is so fire compared to this one. Um, and this one's come, going for around $350, $400 as well. But anyway, I went into this drop with Mech and Cyber, um, hoping that I would cop as many as I can. So my setup with Mech was 13 browser tasks. I think six of them were browser safe and seven of them were browser normal, um, all with Oculus and Leaf ISPs. And the reason I ran such little tasks was that because browser tasks are just super resource heavy um, and you can't run too many or else your computer will crash. For cyber, I ran 30 safe mode tasks all with uh, Oculus ISPs. And this is because um, with Supreme, like you get a ton of captchas and with 30 tasks, like imagine 30 tasks requesting three captchas each like three seconds, like that's 150 captchas, which is way too much. For your harvesters to um, kind of handle, um, so you don't you don't really want to run that many tasks unless you have a lot of genius. I managed to get five bogos. Well, I mean, am I really like sad about it or mad about it? No, I'm actually really happy about it because most of my friends who normally cook got zero. They got zero, and I got really lucky and fortunate to get five. I really wish that I could run more um, tasks with Mech you know, especially browser tasks. And I'm actually building a new computer um, so that I could use it for botting. So it's another one of my investments. Um, I'm building a new computer because I've had my old one for four years now and I think it's time for an upgrade. Um, so I'm gonna be using that new computer for botting, for gaming, for pr productivity, um, a lot of other shit, but it's gonna be a really nice computer um, and I'm really excited for it. This BOGO is selling for around $150 profit each. Um, so if you multiply that by five, that's around $750 of profit for one day, um, which ultimately, you know, is still a banging deal. Um, so I'm really happy for that. For the Yeezy Bread V2s, like literally, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite Yeezy colorways. Usually, and you know, you, you guys know, I don't wear Yeezys, but this colorway is straight fire. Like, I, f I think I'm gonna keep one, keep one for personal. Not sure I'll wear it, but I'm definitely gonna keep it just in case I ever wanna wear it. This this color way was straight heat. And the demand was so high, like you can't even see where my hand is. That's how high the demand was. Um, even though this, the, you know, stock was rumored to be around 550,000. I don't know, you know, maybe Pirate said that number or someone else said that number, but everyone thought that stock was gonna be high. People were gonna be hitting 200 clips, 300 clips, like no, stock was not that high. This hard, you know, as you can see, you will see further into the live cop, like this drop was so hard. Um, but anyway, I wanted to run Let's see, I wanted to run Splash Force and I rented out Polaris for $350 um, for UC Supply. And I ran Torpedo, Kodai, and Ganesh for foot sites. So I ran five bots for two drops in total. 
for Ganesh, um, I set up 1600 tasks, 400 tasks each on each CLI window, and there's four of them. Um, so four times 400 is 1600 tasks. And each task had um, 400 residential proxies from AYCD, Leaf, and Red Dirt proxies. For Kodai, I set up 270 tasks across four foot sites, uh, Foot Locker, Champs, East Bay, and Foot Action. And I mixed, um, and this for Kodai, I used mainly straight ISPs, so a mix of Leaf ISPs and Oculus ISPs for all 270 tasks. For Torpedo, I ran 256 nuclear mode tasks, which was their new mode um, that day. And I ran them all with 256 Oculus ISPs. Yes, I understand. I have a lot of ISPs compared to most of you. And that's because I spent a lot of money on proxies. So, um, plus a shout out to my um, sponsors for sponsoring some of my proxy packs as well. For Yeezy Supply, um, specifically for Polaris, I ran 100 tasks with 100 Oculus um, ISPs again. Um, using the special mode that they have for Yeezy Supply. For Splash Force, I actually have two Splash Forces, one with 200 tasks, and I used 200 Leaf and Oculus ISPs, once again mixed with it together. And then the second copy, I ran 176 tasks with a mix of Oculus and Leaf ISPs again. So everything is ISPs for Kodai, for Torpedo, um, for Polaris, for Splash Force, except for Ganesh. Ganesh is the only bot that I used Resis for. And this is because um, Ganesh has a lot of tasks and I don't have 1600 ISPs. Um, so yeah. Man, oh man. Foot Scythe was a mess. I managed to check out 70 orders, but only 10 of them actually got shipped. PV was at an all-time high. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they turned on PV so high for this drop, especially with the margins that the breads are going for. It's literally over $100 of profit each pair. All 10 of the pairs are actually being shipped to my house right now. And like, I'm so sad because most of my friends um, actually hit 100, 100 clip and they literally got zero pairs because everything just got canceled. Like in and out everything got cancelled and none of them stuck for them. I'm sure that's what happened to most of you as well. And the only thing I can you know recommend for PVs is, is to keep trying different variations of your profiles because once you find one that sticks, don't ever change it. Um, and sometimes it just so happens that everyone gets PV. Like there are drops where I don't get PV at all and people still get PV and there are drops where I get PV and everyone else gets PV. Um, such as this drop. Um, so I normally don't get that much PV, for, but for this drop, for some reason, they turned up PV so high that I also got PV. Um, but yeah, so make sure you keep trying different variations of your profiles so that you can you know, increase your chances of order sticking. So in total, um, I got 38 shipped orders from Yeezy Supply, which is a great amount of pairs. Um, I'm really happy with that. I mean, in total, 10 plus 38 is 48 pairs. Um, I'm really happy because they're going for around hundred dollars each. I'm already selling most of them uh, for hundred over a hundred dollars of profit. So that's around four thousand eight hundred dollars of profit in one day. So super fortunate November, and I know I'm super fortunate, you know, for this December as well. And hopefully we get more drops just like this one. I I think this was one of the first drops where the margins were of a shoe was over a hundred dollars. Um, and I'm really you know we're really thankful for that. That's it for episode 13. I hope you guys liked the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and go ahead and comment below and tell me which proxy providers work for you guys for the bread drop. The bread and the BOGO. Because I realized that Supreme has been blocking a ton of proxies. But Oculus and Leaf work for me on Supreme. And Oculus and Leaf work for me for foot sites as well. But I want to know what proxies you guys used and what you guys cooked. Please drop a comment below so we can all help each other. Um, and yeah. And shout out to Leaf and Oculus. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. The best proxies in the game. They literally, literally are the only proxies you ever need to cook. I really, um, really like their premium ISPs. Those are the best that they have. Make sure you use code LILCHEFIAN for both of them. Okay? So that you get the max discount. And that's it. That's it. That's all I got for this episode. 
I'm gonna be making more of these. I'm gonna be uploading more frequently. But Lil Chef Ian is out. See you on the next episode.